Mercedes surprised after first on track experience, so we're gonna be going through that and five other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video and if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel hitting that red button down below. The first story is Toto Wolf is convinced the Mercedes W14 is fast enough after first track on experience can deliver Lewis Hamilton his eighth championship win. Mercedes boss Toto Wolf says that the porpoising is gone from the W14 when comparing it to the issues they had with the W13 and it bobbing up and down on straights in 2022. Porpoising and bouncing became buzzwords last year in Formula One, with ground effect causing the former at high speed and the stiff setups of the new era F1 cars causing the latter. Mercedes suffered more than most with both over the course of the campaign, with Lewis Hamilton given a particularly rough ride in Azerbaijan that had him struggling to get out of the car thanks to backache. As the season wore on in 2022, the team did appear to start getting on top of the issue but, naturally, with a new season on the horizon, there was plenty of attention on the cars for 2023 to see if any were suffering with the problem once more. Thankfully for Mercedes, though, it appears as though the porpoising problem is a thing of the past with team boss Wolf saying via Sky Sports F1, the porpoising is gone essentially yeah. In reaction to the comments from Wolf, David Croft, league commentator for Sky, called it a big statement, and well it might be. Mercedes really suffered with the issue last year and had to sort it out before they could start developing the car and finding pace. They seem to be on a better footing at the start of this campaign in that regard, then, but there are still things that they are hoping to work on before the season starts next weekend in Bahrain. Earlier on on Friday in testing, Wolf revealed that Lewis Hamilton was struggling with the balance of the W14, with the rear of the car sliding at points around the lap when the seven-time world champion applied the throttle. In the afternoon, meanwhile, George Russell was behind the wheel of the Merc but could only get just over 20 laps in around the Bahrain circuit with the Mercedes grinding to a halt thanks to a hydraulics issue. Things to be Lewis Hamilton and George Russell enjoyed a good first day of running at Bonas preseason test in Bahrain. The duo completed 152 laps with the Mercedes W14, with Hamilton covering 83 laps. Lewis recorded the sixth best lap time of 133.508, just 0.6 seconds off leader Max Verstappen's time. But the Britain's performances showed promising signs for the Silver Arrows. The W14 showed a good overall pace and looked in much better shape than the 2022 car. Mercedes also managed to curb the car's bouncing, which plagued the team's performances last year. Hamilton returns back after a winless 2022 season, but the W14S projections have already given the team some hope ahead of 2023 second stars, and team boss Toto Wolff predicts Hamilton will be a championship contender again. For the first time in 16 seasons, Lewis Hamilton finished a campaign without a win in 2022. The seven-time world champion season was overshadowed by teammate George Russell who secured the team's only win of the season in Brazil. While the Mercedes W13 took the brunt of the blame for the Britain's performance, team principal Toto Wolff was pleased by the W14 after day one of preseason testing. Wolff assures the W14 is already much better than its predecessor, which is good news for the Hamilton fans. He briefed, the car seems to be balanced in the right way. There is no bouncing which is good news. It is a good starting point. We have had a productive morning. Toto predicts the Briton will bounce back this season and could fight for the eighth title if the car suits him. He added, you need to provide a good car for a driver that has the ambition to win races and championships, and we have that. The second story is George Russell claims Mercedes have a good problem to solve despite limitations. George Russell claims that while their 2023 challenger, the W14, is unbalanced mid-corner, the limitation is a good problem to have compared to the woes they faced in 2022. The Briton claims the team has made a step in the right direction and is working on fixing their balance issues. Russell claims the team is where they expect it to be at this time of the year, after taking part in the first two days of the 2023 preseason testing in Bahrain. The team worked all through last year to bridge their gap to Ferrari and Red Bull after the W13 was plagued with porpoising from the start of last season. George Russell claims that their current problems are minor compared to last year when they instantly knew they had failed to understand the new aerodynamic regulations. Speaking to Motorsport.com, Russell said about the team's progress, I think it's no secret when you're watching the onboard videos that we are struggling a little bit with the balance, struggling a lot in the mid-corner, but I think it's a balance that is probably probably easier to solve than what we had last year. So even though there's still a limitation, let's say it's a good problem to have. The team doesn't appear to be topping the time charts in preseason testing this year, but they have made remarkable progress in trying to make it back to the top of the sport. 
Mercedes driver George Russell thinks that his maiden victory in Brazil was more significant than beating Lewis Hamilton in the driver's standings. The Briton delivered the Silver Arrow's only win of the 2022 season, whilst managing to outscore seven-time world champion Hamilton. Mercedes had a 2022 to forget given their dismal form in the first half of the year. The team's 2022 challenger, the W13, was plagued with porpoising from pre-season testing, meaning that they were out of the title battle from the very beginning of the season. Russell managed to make the best of a bad situation for the team, winning the 2022 Brazilian GP in Sao Paulo in triumphant fashion. Also, he outscored the sport's most successful driver Lewis Hamilton. Despite being the seven-time world champion in the driver's standings at the end of the year, the 25-year-old believes his win in Brazil was a lot more significant for him and his team. Speaking to AMUS, George Russell said, For me, this victory in Brazil was more important than the points classification. At the end of the day, nobody remembers that I beat Lewis on points. I only finished fourth, so no man's land. It will be interesting to see which one of the Mercedes drivers emerge victorious should the team deliver a championship winning car over the course of the 2023 season. The third story is Wolf admits Red Bull and Ferrari look fast, but says Mercedes are still hiding some pace. Toto Wolf has offered some thoughts on how the front running battle is shaping up for 2023 as preseason testing enters its closing stages, saying it has been no surprise to see the pace displayed by Red Bull and Ferrari so far, while hinting at more to come from Mercedes. Ferrari Ferrari and Red Bull have led three of the four testing siegements held at the Bahrain International Circuit this week, with Carlos Sainz setting the pace on both Thursday and Friday morning, and world champion Max Verstappen topping Thursday afternoon's running. At Mercedes, both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell had been quietly but steadily racking up the laps until a hydraulic issue brought Russell's Friday afternoon program to a halt, costing the team some valuable track time in the cooler, evening conditions. Before Alfa Romeo's Zhu Guanyu surged to the top of the times on Friday night, making use of soft tires, Mercedes boss Wolf noted the performance of 2022 seconds pace setting teams, commenting, they are fast no surprise there. Asked if he thinks the gap between Mercedes and Red Bull, Ferrari could be bigger than before, Wolf intriguingly added, it's very difficult to judge at stage. Everybody's playing around with fuel loads and it's a little bit hiding on engine modes, so you can't really judge, we're still hiding a little bit. Question marks over run plans and engine modes aside, Wolf made clear that Mercedes porpoising issues have essentially gone with the W14, while speaking of his eagerness to go racing again and, if all goes to plan, returning to title contending ways. It's a feeling of excitement. Because we got it wrong last year, we finished third, and we definitely want to fight for a world championship. That's the aim. But you need to stay humble also, he said. Obviously mentally it's always difficult to start with a car that was not on par last year and hopefully see something that's better, and this is where the excitement comes from. But equally, we want to get it right. Sticking to Mercedes' split run plan from the first two days of testing action, Russell is set to get his final preseason outing on Saturday morning before handing over to Hamilton for the afternoon session. Offering his thoughts on where Mercedes sit in the pecking order, Russell said, it's difficult to say so far. Definitely a lot of improvements in certain areas. The car is feeling nicer to drive, but at the end of the day, there's only one thing that matters, and that's the lap times on the timesheet. It was being a pretty smooth test. Unfortunately, we had the issue this afternoon, so we lost a lot of running, but I think we've uncovered some interesting things in the data that hopefully will find us some more lap time, so you've got to take the positives. As for whether Friday's issue can be easily fixed overnight, he added, it's one of those things that happens here and there and can happen to everybody, but it doesn't cause us major concern for the rest of the test. The fourth story is XF1 racer could get Mercedes team management role. Ex-Formula 1 and Formula E driver Jerome D'Ambrosio may be given a role at the Mercedes Formula 1 team after observing from inside at pre-season testing. D'Ambrosio is attending the pre-season test in Bahrain as a friend of Mercedes, according to its team principal Toto Wolff. But Wolff intimated there is likely to be a longer-term plan around D'Ambrosio who has team management experience from Formula E. He's been in Formula E and been a team principal of Venturi, who finished second in the championship, Wolf told F1 TV. He's here as a friend. He's observing. There may be something in the future, but not yet. If D'Ambrosio joins Mercedes, it could be in a role that helps replace some of the responsibilities that were previously held by former strategy chief James Vowles. The fifth story is how Mercedes managed to make its 2023 F1 front wing legal. The distinctive Mercedes Formula One front wing and plate design that appeared through much of last year was made illegal by the FIA for 2023 
yet Mercedes has managed to create a similar effect on its new F1 car with a clever interpretation of the modified rules. The regulations were conceived to create a smooth transition between the four planes of the front wing and the end plate. The F1 show car shows a simple interpretation of these regulations, creating a gentle upward curve as the front wing profiles blend into the vertical end plate. But at the Miami Grand Prix last April, Mercedes introduced a more complex version. This allowed for more outwash of the airflow around the outside of the front wheels, while also creating the opportunity for vortex generation. Effectively, this created a cutout in the front wing and plate the FIA did not want given the push to minimize outwash and its contribution to dirty air. 